name is Claire. I am the founder of Smarter DA and Student RGH. Let's see today some panoramic radiograph landmarks. This is part one. We don't want a 15 minute video. We want a short video that can explain to you the basic concepts. First, look at this number one. What is this? This is the maxillary sinus. But here, especially the bottom, the floor is over here. A great way to memorize this is to see if they come down all the way to the maxillary molars. Because this one, as you can see, looks very similar but does not come all the way down. That's why sometimes um, dentists or periodontists or older surgeons have to perform what's called a sinus lift because this is way too low. If they are performing some sort of procedure over here, especially in an implant, you don't want to perforate this floor. Number two, you see over here is marked as this guy over here. This is actually just to highlight the side, okay? So we have the floor and the side, the lateral border. Let's continue. Number three, I know it's a little difficult to see, pointing at this. This is the septum. There will be a bone and then cartilage. So for example, if we look from the side, okay, let's say the bone here and this nose part is actually the cartilage. Um, but this midline, we just Memorize this as the septum, the nasal septum, if you see it on your exam. It makes sense, it's right in the middle. And then number four. Four, we are pointing at this whole area. Do you see that it's a little lighter? We call it um, lucent, radio lucent in radiograph, meaning that it is darker. So let's look here. Do you see all this area? This area is what you see over here. So this actually will be on both sides, on the right side and the left side. Because there's air here, this is radiolucent. And there is the oropharynx, which is right behind the mouth, and this middle and the lower part here that is called the hypopharynx. They're linked together, and together they make this structure. And then one last thing I want to talk today in this mini video is this part. Do you see this area? Those radiolucent area. Oh, sorry. The opposite. Radio opaque area. This corresponds to the bone and the cartilage. So this bone, this is called the high bone. We call it the U shape or the horseshoe shape. And it's right here below your chin. It is a very important bone that is connected to the tongue. And at the bottom here, you have the larynx and also you have the thyroid gland somewhere around here. But those bones, because they're very close to your mandible, will be projected onto the radiograph sometimes. So to recap, let's start with number one. We have seen what the floor of the sinuses, the lateral borders, and then we went to number three, which is our septum. And number four, the airspace because of the pharynx. And number five, the higher bone and the cartilage. I hope this makes sense. We're going to go to part two very soon. Thank you. If you want to continue studying, go to smarterda.com and find all the courses we have. For example, radiology and fashion control and many more. And you also have some free trials. Thank you.